knowledge being spread. It's like warm butter across the bread. Smooth, I know you like that. Flow with the grain and don't fight that. You want righteous love, you found the right match. With Marty McFly, they on the right track. Yeah, gotta dig the dirt to plant the seed. Spread roots till you sprout like a tree. Danny Jones, see the one you want to see. Danny Jones live, this is what you want to be. It's Danny Jones live, Danny Jones live. Hey, hey, welcome to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady, and I'm still hanging out with that guy, Marty McFly, behind the scenes making it happen, which he does every single week on our show. But on the show today, we've got a special guest that we wanted to share with you. Um, as you know, on Donnie Jones Live, we're always trying to bring you great people that are doing good things in the community. Uh, whether it's come as far as entrepreneurship, people building businesses, people building great relationships, or people that are just doing the best at what they do. And today on the show is no different. Um, the other day, me and my daughter were in the mall looking for a dress for her. And we, the two of us were hungry. Actually, the three of us were hungry. I've got two daughters. And I said, you know, I want to go in and find something healthy and yummy. And as we walked out of the dress shop, my nose caught the whiff of this man's restaurant. And it was literally two doors down from where we were. And so when I walked in to see an African-American man behind the scenes in this absolutely beautiful restaurant, I said, I don't know where y'all plan on eating, but you know what, we're gonna eat here and support this business. Well, what happened was an explosion of flavor in my mouth. And so I wanted to share this restaurant with you, but more importantly, I wanted to share this gentleman's story. And so the name of the restaurant is called Ann Cheese. So y'all already know this is gonna be good. Um, but the gentleman that I, I ran into, his name is Chef Marvin, and he is the owner of Anchies. And I felt like it was great to get to know him and to share his story with you all because I think he's a true inspiration, and I think it's going to be something that you all enjoy. Thank you for being on the show, Thank Chef you. Rob. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. Okay. Um, I've been into food, the culinary scene from graduating high school, some college, and I found myself uh, just really attracted to the reaction. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a piece of art that yeah. people taste and enjoy that you make, and uh, I really got a kick out of that. Yeah. And um, I had some great uh, individual chefs in different um, restaurants that I've worked for that have shown me some of their greatness yeah. to allow me to use my imagination and build on that. Because yeah. food and uh, the way we look at it always changes and there's more, there's always more. Yeah. And, and I love the journey. Well, I think there's, a, and I've heard of a cheese, um, grilled cheese restaurants, but I've never seen it done at this level. And I think that's what kind of took me aback, like, wow, this is some true gourmet food. And you kind of, and I asked you, how did you come up with it? Can you tell, the, tell us how you came, share with us how you came up with the idea? Absolutely. Uh, I was a transfer for a, um, a vibe dining restaurant here in Atlanta uh, from Miami for COVID in 2020. Um, and in kind of realizing my, my greatness, uh, I stepped away from that and in, into developing uh, an idea for myself, starting with a seasoning company. And one night, just kind of using that seasoning and making a snack for my girlfriend, uh, a grilled cheese sandwich. I yeah. walked over as I delivered it and the light bulbs hit me. I said to myself, everyone loves grilled cheese. Yes. And you can put anything on a grilled cheese. So there's sim simple grilled cheese and then there's other levels to it. Just like with a steak, mm -hmm. there's a $10 steak and then you can go to a restaurant and spend $100 on it. Yeah. You know, what's the difference? What's the gap? And uh, this is where we get started with grilled cheese and really yeah. have fun with it. So, Well, we definitely had some fun with it. Our mouth had some fun with it. We've actually got an example of one of your grilled cheeses right here. Um, and for those of you that are checking out our show on YouTube, you'll get a chance to see this or on one of our um, uh, the stations that we're on. You'll see it. But for those of you that are listening to us on the radio or on our podcast, I want to share with you the ingredients of the particular grilled cheese that I had because, once again, it was a party in my mouth and I just was blown away. This is called the, the ATL, right? Yes. And it's paired with a tomato basil soup, correct? Yes. Tell us what's in the um, ATL. So, um, first we're going to have to sign an NDA. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. But, um, <laughs> to, be, to be quite honest. They can't uh, do it like you do it, though. <laughs> But you know what? That, that's the that's the thing is that it's just it's it's love. 
Yeah. Uh, there's there's levels of flavor to each step uh, in the process of creating each ingredient. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, there's mac and cheese, there's cornbread, there's collard greens. Uh, you can make collard greens many different ways. Yeah. Uh, some people attest to the fact that they don't eat collard greens yeah. because they've been introduced to it in a maybe flavorless way. Right. Uh, so well, they must have not been in my family. My grandma <laughs> ain't good collard greens. <laughs> and they I definitely really, ain't tasted these collard greens. I'm honored. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, it's a combination of just really, you know, mac and cheese is, is something that people really enjoy. Uh, it's a simple recipe, something that you can like or dislike as well. Yeah. Uh, but it's all about levels of flavor and you got to hit it at certain points. Uh, it's easy to overdo something. It's easy yeah. to underdo something. Yeah. But to find a balance in it, um, I think that's where the experience of just knowing what food how to build on it yeah and in in the amounts because sometimes it's not even the ingredients it's just the amounts yeah so yeah you can put chocolate and truffle together in a recipe but it's got to be the right balance that's it well you got the right balance and i'm gonna just say it one more i'm, I'm just gonna reiterate you guys we're talking about a grilled cheese sandwich that has cornbread mac and cheese and collard greens in it and it's grilled and it is like it's perfection. So once again, if you're in Atlanta, even if you're not in Atlanta, I want you to come to Atlanta <laughs> just to uh, check out Ann Cheese because it's absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, with you putting something together like this, you're back, you've got a varied background because once again, it's gourmet, but it's still down home. Mm -hmm. How do you mix those two? How did you come up with the idea to kind of mix something that's such comfort food but take it to another level? Um, I think... When you, when you think about it in that way, uh, the one thing that comes to mind is, you know, what's the difference between casual, hot, fine dining, one star, five star, there's levels, right? Yeah. In description, uh, describing restaurants yeah. in the day and age we live in. So one thing I've learned is, is the quality of the ingredients and yeah. how you take care of them, yeah. what really makes a difference between McDonald's and, uh, a five-star restaurant. Yes, so this is a five-star cheese sandwich, basically. <laughs> awesome. Well, the other thing that I noticed was that you took the time to tie it into Atlanta. Was that done on purpose, or was it um, just something you noticed that worked with other restaurants in the past? What was your reasoning for doing that? Uh, it, it's actually a very organic way of it coming together. Um, I feel very... Uh, I feel very happy to be in Atlanta. The journey to come here was set years ago. Really? How so? Uh, so I have a cousin here who's in business as well. And, you know, he would always show me these motivational speeches yes. and give me tips. This yeah. is years ago. And I would ask him, uh, where do you find this stuff? And he yeah. would tell me, Google motivation. Yeah. Um, and then I started getting into the Les Browns and, and the oh so forth. Goodness. But the crazy part is, is here I am coming from Miami. I was in middle school and I was in uh, the Singing 100 in Carroll City Middle School. Uh, my music teacher, I called my mother in music. Yeah. Uh, she was dating Les Brown was I, as I was going to middle school. So Are as you serious? You could have been Les Brown Jr. then. Yeah. I, well, maybe not. But mom, I'm, dad, I'm you know. Yeah, I know. I'm messing but, with you. But yeah, he would come in af after class, and uh, I would spend time uh, seeing this guy, not yeah. knowing who he was, and now here I am listening to him yeah. and taking his heed to his words. Um, so it, it started as as a uh, a journey to come to atlanta for food because we were thinking about doing a youtube show yeah uh, actually going to people's homes um knocking on the door and just you know people say hey i don't have anything really to eat and i'm just like let me show you what you got really in your yeah. kitchen and really coming up with some cool uh recipes with just basics well we might have to talk anyway because that's what we do yeah but so that's so a we, whole other story we'll talk about that off 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 camera so <laughs> we so we kind of looked at it as you know what uh we want it, it's better when the city feels a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. So coming to Atlanta, it was already set in stone for me to come. A few years passed, and then here I am now. Yes, absolutely. So it's like, why Atlanta? And, yeah. you know, in starting this concept, I was vending at different events in the, the local area. And yeah. a lot of people, older black people, younger black people, would come and tell me with conviction what a great thing that I yeah. was doing. Yeah. And at first, I, did, I, I was over, like, wow, I never felt that feeling before yeah. from someone as if they, they saw something that I didn't see. It's a, it's, a, it's a feeling, going back to what you were saying, it's a feeling because when me and my daughters were sitting there, 
we said, I feel like this is almost spiritual. Like when we, when we bit into your food, it was that moving. You know, because in your mind you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have a nice grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, it's got some extra stuff in there. But we looked at each other like, you know, it was like a moment. And so you, you found a way to create that. And the reason why I wanna kinda hone in on that is because we try to inspire people to find what they love doing and put their heart into it. You know, a, a simple example of that is last night, my daughter, she has a tennis, she, wants, she asked me to make this little tea for her. And all it is is tea with a few spices in it and some milk. But because she asked me, what do you put in here? And I said, I put love in that. And, and it's something that she likes me to make for her. And she's 18 years old, you know? My other daughter's 16 years old, but they still want me to do that because of the love that I put in it. But I feel like you do the same thing with your food. There's love in it, you know? How, how do you transmit that to your food? You, you gotta believe in yourself. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a statement that was said to me, never be afraid to be alone. Mm. Um, it's something about that. Yeah. It's easy to do what everyone else does. Yeah, It's absolutely. easy to go that way that everyone else is going. Mm. You feel safe, you feel protected, feel all those things. Yeah. But to set out on a path that no one has gone before, where there's no one there, where there's no light, yeah. and you're creating the light and you continue to chip away at the bottom of that mountaintop, eventually you get to the top. Eventually yeah. you break through and you start to see the light. And when you see the light, you work even harder to create more of an opening That's right. so that not only you could continue to bring that light to your life alive, but for others, too, to see and destroy even bigger mountains. Wow. So you're, you're setting into motion something for not just yourself, but to change yeah. the world. So it's really, truly changing yourself, believing in yourself. Yes changing the, the dependency that we have on everything around us yeah. and everything that's going on to yes. feel that I'm worthy yeah. of anything that I put my mind to say that I want for myself. Well, I want more of your story. <laughs> and so we're gonna take a quick break because you're not just selling food, you're selling a feeling. And you're, I, you talked about Les Brown being a motivational speaker. I think there's a motivational speaker in you. So we're gonna take a quick break. And we're gonna look at a little bit into your story, more into your story and talk about something exciting that you've got going on. Okay. I'm Donnie the True Lady. We are sitting here right now with Chef Marvin. We'll be right back. When it falls, there's only one tree company to call. That's Don's Tree Service. Call them at 770-413-TREE. That's 770-413-8733. I looked out the window after the storm and found out that there was a tree that was had fallen, so I needed somebody quickly. Made uh, one phone call. The appointment was made. They got the tree down. They do full service cleanup so that it looked like uh, nothing had been done at all. Don's Tree Service did an awesome job for me and I would recommend them highly. Hey guys, I'm Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. We are an Atlanta-based tree service serving all of Metro Atlanta. And you know what? We proudly serve the underserved. And not only that, when we cut down your trees, we don't charge extra for cleaning up. So give us a call at 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-8733. I am that tree. guy, Marty McFly. Well, <clears throat> sometimes people actually call me Pastor Marty. Yes, I am Pastor Marty Ringer, pastor of St. Mark Lutheran Church over in beautiful East Point, Georgia. And you know what? We are worshiping in person. Yep, we're back in person, and I would love to worship with you. Join us this Sunday starting at 11 a.m., okay? 11 a.m. this Sunday, we're located at 4137 Washington Road. Now, if you're not in the Atlanta area or the East Point area, you can always watch any of our services at stmarklutheranchurch.org. That's stmarklutheranchurch.org. And yeah, you actually see me in my robe doing my uh, uh, a ministerial thing. And I would love for you to check us out and worship with us. That's stmarklutheranchurch.org. Or visit us in person at 4137 Washington Road in East Point, Georgia. 
Hi, I'm Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service and author of my book, From Failure to Fabulous. From Failure to Fabulous is my story about taking my life from being an abject failure to building a fabulous life that I absolutely love. And I'm hoping that you'll take the time to check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous. Get your copy of this inspiring book by Donnie Jones, entitled From Failure to Fabulous, available now on Amazon and DonnieJonesLive.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady, and we are sitting here with Chef Marvin of Ann Cheese, and we are really getting into his story and the motivation behind what he does, because it's not just about food, it's about a feeling, and it's about love. Before we went to break, you were talking about that, but before we get too, too much more into your story, tell people how they can get in contact with you and where you're located. Absolutely, we're here at uh, Linux Square Mall. Uh, we're kind of the best kept secret. We're on the second floor coming in from the main entrance. Yeah. Uh, and then just to your left, right before Bloomingdale's. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at ANCheeseATL. That's A N D Cheese ATL. Uh, and if you really want to uh, tap in, DM me on Instagram. I'm always on there every day. Uh, and you can also link to uh, some other cool things from our, our Instagram at the present time. Awesome. Well, we're going to get into some of those cool things. But going back to the fact that w when you started to share your story, you shared some motivational points and some inspirational points. That seems to be very important to you. Why is that? Um, and where I, does it come from? It's, it comes from seeing the beginning and the end. Yeah. And uh, without purpose and, and pushing forward, knowing that at some point it all stops, at least for you. Yeah. But it really never does as long as you live through the energy that you have the potential of giving and not letting it just sit and harbor within you yeah. because you're safe amongst everyone else doing everything else that everyone else is doing. So what advice would you give someone? And the reason why I'm asking him about this because one of the things you told me is that you started this right, I mean, in the middle of a pandemic. This man opened a restaurant, a successful restaurant, in the middle of the pandemic. Last year, July 4th of last year, you mm -hmm. opened this restaurant. And to look at what it's become, to look at what you're doing, to see where you're located um, in this beautiful mall, in this beautiful space, um, there was a driving force behind that. What would you say to somebody that does have a dream and they still are not sure what to do to, to pursue it? Or they're scared? Um, you got to, you get, fear is, is our biggest enemy, right? Yeah. Uh, so you got to tell yourself something in the moment of that fear. And you got to, you know, it's just like habits. You know, how do you conquer a bad habit? You got to create new good habits. Yes. So I would say is wherever you fall short, whether it's not having what you need or feeling like you're not able to do it because you're scared, when you reach those pivotal moments, say something to affirm that you are going to get there. Mm -hmm. Something that can help you believe in yourself. Yeah. And you continue to build on that. And when you get to those points, you know how to, to, to navigate through them because that's yeah. the only thing holding you back is those moments of fear, those moments of feeling I'm not worthy, the moments of feeling that I don't have it. Yeah. You have everything you have that you need. You just don't know it yet. Yeah. So as soon as you start telling yourself that, you got to keep telling yourself that because mm. no one's going to tell you that. That's right. That's so right. once you commit to the journey, you got to give it your all. A hundred percent. Because yeah. knowing the truth and not acting on it is not going to affect you, it's going to affect everyone around you yeah. that could have affected you in the way to make you successful. That's right. Wow. That's powerful. That's powerful. I think I want to, <laughs> I want to <laughs> mull on that one. That's awesome. Now, another thing that you had mentioned um, when we, uh, before the show was that you also have an NFT. You want to talk a little bit about that? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's the coolest thing, um, I think, on planet Earth right now. And for our audience, because... <laughs> We have a very diverse audience, but some of y'all may not know what an NFT is. So we can explain that first and then kind of uh, circle into how that, that comes into play today. Absolutely. Uh, so an NFT is a non-fungible token. Uh, it's secured on the blockchain uh, technology. Yeah. So uh, cryptocurrency and NFTs are both uh, aligned to this technology to authenticate it yeah. and to make it so unique where it has a value equal to monetary things like dollar, gold, gas. Gotcha. 
So now we have governments implementing ways to utilize this digital era mm -hmm. of currency. Yeah. Uh, NFTs right now in most people's uh, mind is this piece of digital art that someone bought for a whole bunch of money. Right. Because um, that's what I think of. I mean, because I'm still learning about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that and that truly is the the piece of it because it, it's it's authentic to the owner that has the right yeah. to say I own it yeah. uh, outright. Um, and as we transcend into a different era in technology, um, NFTs are not going anywhere. Right. Right. They're gonna they're gonna be more prevalent, and people are gonna have more understanding and usage yeah. of NFTs. So what we are doing as we've dropped our first NFT on National Grilled Cheese Day, the ATL, we're, sh we're showing you how you can utilize NFTs by having a utility attached to this digital asset, wow. right? So you're gonna get the value that you spend monetarily yeah. out of the usage of this NFT because it has a utility attached to it. So that, how would somebody get your NFT? Uh, so the NFT is available through OpenSea, there is a link directly on my Instagram page. That's at Ann Cheese ATL on Instagram. So you can link there. It, it will give you things that you need to do to get into a meta wallet, which yeah. is a digital wallet, and to be able to purchase the NFT. Um, as we move into this NFT space, we're going to be engaging with the customers in a different way. Okay. So this summer, I'm excited to work with uh, tech students in local colleges here. Oh, wow. Uh, to start to integrate the conversation at the front door with our customers yeah. on how they can attain the NFT. Because yeah. at this point, it's like how yeah. and, and the why. And to show them that this is a benefit. So basically, it's like a digital coupon. Okay. That's what I was... That's where we were going with this. And this is why I wanted other business owners to hear that. Yes. So they can see how this technology can tie in with their business. So once somebody gets your NFT through going on your Instagram page, yes. which is at Ann Cheese ATL, hit them up on Instagram, what happens and what can they do with that NFT? So with the NFT, it's equivalent to $50 uh, or 0 0.017 Ethereum. So you get one free ATL sandwich, you get a free t-shirt, you get to sign the hat when you come into the restaurant initially, and then you get 50% off that sandwich for life. Wow. Okay, y'all need to, y'all need to, even if you don't understand how to get an NFT, y'all need to go online and hit him up on Instagram and get his NFT. That's powerful. Because what you're doing is you're taking your business, you're incorporating the NFT and making it value to, valuable to the end consumer. And I think that will help people. You, by you saying it's a coupon, even though it's more than that, it actually kind of makes a light bulb go off in the consumer's mind, like, oh, this is how I can use that. So, yes. Yeah. So you're not just an entrepreneur, you're an educator, too. Well, I'm looking to be even more of a, a trendsetter. I yeah. think we, we are sitting at a time where there's a space, a gap for hospitality, retail. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be working with college kids on NIL deals, yeah. food bloggers, lifestyle bloggers, where NFTs now can create more of an opportunity for them yeah. than ever thought before. So, wow. yeah, we're, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. It's it fun sounds like it's fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. And I can tell you're having fun yeah. with what you do. So what's, what, what, what do you want to leave people with when they think about Anchies or they think about Chef Marvin? Family, family is important. Yeah. Friends are cool. Business is great. But the journey to attain your full potential and to be in the process of that, that's what I encourage everyone to do because yeah. that's what I'm doing now. That's exactly what you're doing now. And it, and it comes through with everything you do. It really does. Once again, how can people get in contact with you? to get your product, to get your NFT, or just to come get a sandwich. Tell them where you're at one more time and how to get in contact We are here at Lenox Square Mall. We're on the second floor, just a tab across from uh, Bloomingdale's. As you come into main entrance, just take the escalator down and we're on your left. You can hit me on Instagram. We're at Ann Cheese ATL. That's A-N-D Cheese ATL on Instagram. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. If you did watch this and you come into our restaurant, let me know. Uh, I would love to say hello to you and uh, show you some love. And he will, 
he will definitely show you some love because that's exactly what he did for us um, is you showed us some love. For real quick before we wrap up, what's something surprising that people should know about you and what you do? Um, or it's something, a fun fact. Fun fact is, uh, so I, I'm into music and I have a jingle company and I make music. I did a song for Top Model years ago. Really? And, um, okay. So that's that's my fun fact. Uh, so I'm a I'm a published musician, artist, writer, and I, I feel like music is art, like food, and yeah. you can't have one without the other. Oh my God, you got to get in touch with Marty. <laughs> Ser- well, I, I mean Marty, <laughs> or vice versa. Seriously. So, can I get a, one of these cheese sandwiches once we wrap up and everything? Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Seriously, because it's it's always a pleasure for us to be able to connect with people that are doing good in the world. But it sounds like you want to do more than just do good and become successful. You want to make a difference. And for that, I greatly appreciate that very, Thank you. very much. What, what are some changes you see? I'm, I know we're wrapping up, but I feel like there is something that you understand about the industry that is not being tapped on right now without going into too much detail because I know we're wrapping up. What are the changes that you see that need to be made in the industry that you're in? Um, I think there needs to be a relinquish of power and profitability and make it more of an opportunity for people to work versus a job. That's the difference between a five-star restaurant and McDonald's employee. Yeah. See, a five-star restaurant has an opportunity to make six figures. An employee at McDonald's really doesn't. Yeah. And that's because there's been so much control. But how do you, how do you get there? Because yeah. the employees are going to be the ones to take you there. Yeah. So you have to make sure that you give them an opportunity yeah. and not a job. I love that. And that's exactly what we try to do at our show is give people an opportunity to make a difference, to make a change. And in your case, you're giving people an opportunity, not just a job. And we thank you for that. Thank you. Once again, thank you, Mr. Chef. Mr. Chef, thank you, <laughs> Chef Marvin. We appreciate you being on the show. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. You're listening to Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. When it falls, there's only one tree company to call. That's Don's Tree Service. Call them at 770-413-TREE. That's 770-413-8733. Had looked out the window after the storm and found out that there was a tree that was had fallen, so I needed somebody quickly. Made uh, one phone call. The appointment was made. They got the tree down. They do full service cleanup so that it looked like uh, nothing had been done at all. Don's Tree Service did an awesome job for me, and I would recommend them highly. Hey, guys, I'm Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. We are an Atlanta-based tree service serving all of Metro Atlanta. And you know what? We proudly serve the underserved. And not only that, when we cut down your trees, we don't charge extra for cleaning up. So give us a call at 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-8733. I am that guy, Marty McFly. Well, sometimes people actually call me Pastor Marty. Yes, I am Pastor Marty Ringer, pastor of St. Mark Lutheran Church over in beautiful East Point, Georgia. And you know what? We are worshiping in person. Yep, we're back in person, and I would love to worship with you. Join us this Sunday starting at 11 a.m., okay? 11 a.m. this Sunday, we're located at 4137 Washington Road. Now, if you're not in the Atlanta area or the East Point area, you can always watch any of our services at stmarklutheranchurch.org. That's stmarklutheranchurch.org. And yeah, you actually see me in my robe doing my uh, 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 ministerial thing. And I would love for you to check us out and worship with us. That's stmarklutheranchurch.org. Or visit us in person at 4137 Washington Road in East Point, Georgia. Hi, I'm Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service and author of my book, From Failure to Fabulous. From Failure to Fabulous is my story about taking my life from being an abject failure to building a fabulous life. 
that I absolutely love. And I'm hoping that you'll take the time to check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous. Get your copy of this inspiring book by Donnie Jones, entitled From Failure to Fabulous. Available now on Amazon and DonnieJonesLive.com. Hey, hey, welcome to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady hanging out with... <sighs> that guy, Marty McFly, is feeling, <laughs> feeling, I ain't gonna lie, I'm feeling good, feeling We full. are stuffed. We are it's stuffed. It's a good day. Yes. You know what's a shame? Yeah. If you're checking us out on YouTube, uh, you can see that we have eaten some sandwiches. The goal should have been like us not to eat the sandwiches so that you but, all could but, see but, them. But, but the sandwiches inspired the they, show. They inspired the you show. Know, they did. If you don't know, we're, well, you probably don't know, we're in Lenox Mall yeah. at and, and cheese. cheese. Yeah. You know, now, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, when Donnie talked about doing a show about <laughs> Grilled cheese sandwiches. I I, I was kind of like you kind of thought something you know, real I quick. I was kind of like really really dining. Yep, really. You know, and and then yeah. she said, "Yo, these are gourmet cheese sandwiches. Yep, it, it sounds like something I would make up." Yeah, yeah. You know, but I uh, took the challenge, and we we're over here at and cheese. And I will say, I have never, never, ever, 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 ever had a ever cheese sandwich like that. I'm so saying, good. It was really really good, and it's. Filling, and I'm saying it, it. I told you, it's a flavor explosion in I your mouth. I never had collard greens. Come on now. On a on, on a grilled it, cheese. It sandwich. was collard greens, uh, uh, cornbread, cornbread, and and macaroni and, and cheese. macaroni and cheese on a grilled cheese sandwich, y'all. Seriously. Seriously. And so yeah. Y- y- yeah, yeah. And I'm mad at my mama. Like, mama, why didn't you? Do why didn't this? she think? Of you know, exactly. out of everything else, you pulled out your behind and put on my plate. Oh my gosh! You couldn't put some collard she collard greens every day. You I'm didn't hurt think him. about that. That's true. But no, no. But this is this is a wonderful place. And it if really you're looking is. for it, we're in Lenox Mall. Yep. Uh, the 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 second floor. Yeah, Lenox Square. So if you're not from Atlanta, specifically Lenox Square, but if you're in Atlanta, Lenox Mall. Yes, it is down by uh, was that Blo- Bloomingdale's? Bloomingdale's. But yeah, yeah, right. You, this is the Bloomingdale's of grilled cheeses. I mean, I it is say, next if level. If you in the mall, go upstairs and just stick your nose up. You're going to yeah, smell, you're gonna smell the, the goodness. But anyway, yeah. Donnie, how has that was Man, I am doing good. You? I am doing really good. My uh, oldest is graduating high what? school. So yeah, yeah, she's so graduating. Up yet? I, I teared up like seven, eight, nine times I already. I'm, I'm not ready for it. I'm, uh-huh. I want her to stay my little munchkin, but she's not my little munchkin any anymore. And actually, she was the reason why I fa- we we said we were gonna grab something to eat, uh-huh. and we walked in here. She was like, "Well, let's go this way as opposed to the way to the food court." Right. And we walked in here. I was like, "I'm eating here. Did I don't know where yeah. y'all plan on going." But I'm going here. So this is actually how we found this place was my, my munchkin because we were looking for a dress uh-huh. for her graduation. Oh, you know, I so saw we some were, dresses we looked, down there. That no, the might dresses look, you saw, we not get. Well, look, look, if the daughter's <laughs> trying to get attention, you know, at graduation, okay. I, I think those dresses. Okay, would be the like dresses you was looking at would not be appropriate for an 18 year old. But wait a minute, it was an 18 year old store. Uh, I'm it, saying, uh, no, it, was like it, wasn't a a, it was a teenage store. store, but my teenager ain't gonna be wearing it. It looked like it was a nice. Would you let elegant. your daughter wear that? Well, I ain't got any. I just but if like you that. had a daughter, but, but see, would you I let her walk out the door <laughs> with that on? To go to get something out the car and come back? Yeah. Exactly. She exactly. could do that. Yeah, but yeah. no, so I've had, I've had a really good week, man. And, um, just feeling really inspired. You know, the weather has changed and, you know, we're busy. You know, for those of you That's that don't know, I own Don's Tree Service here in Atlanta, mm-hmm. uh, a premier tree care com- company. I can't say gourmet because that's food, yeah, but, but yeah. premier tree care company. Who, if you need anything as far as trees are concerned, call 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-8733. <laughs> but what about you, man? How's your week? You know, my week has been going great because I, I committed to the challenge. You know, the yes. last week we talked about you know, changing your lifestyle, you know, changing your routines to have a better life. And I actually joined the gym. Yes. And I actually went to the gym the first day. Yeah. Yep. That's now, right. the second day, I actually went inside of the gym. Oh, my God. You know, Marty. now, l- probably Friday, I'm yeah. actually start working out. Okay. You know, uh, right Wait now. Wait a minute. Just, so you've been, been to the gym twice and haven't worked out? It's a it's a process. Okay. You know, Marty, so I, I go our there and I stretch. Our whole goal on this show is to inspire people. You know, to but, do what they're but supposed see, to do. I don't do. want to start rolling zero to to hundred, so I'm just like, zero to one right. would be good. 
That's why I got, I went there. You okay. know, if, if you see on social media, you see me outside the gym. <laughs> That's right. He did post it on social media that yes. he actually went to the gym. But here, I'm going to give you props no, but anyway. I, I, I am starting. You know, it, it's, yeah. uh, it's uh, a day-by-day day thing. But yeah. I am, you know, all joking aside, I have committed to going. Yeah. I've been getting up at, ooh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it is. But I'm going. And honestly, you know, I try to do a little bit more every day now. Yeah. And I'm feeling better. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that I... With the one week of working out, I feel a little bit good, a little bit better. But you know, I'm, I'm in that uh, you know false mindhood because I'm looking at the mirror already. Like, have I oh gained gosh. anything? Do I got a little curve right there? You know, there's a wrinkle kind of falling away. You know, <coughs> just saying, I'm feeling good though. No, but here's the cool thing about what you did: you made a commitment, <coughs> right? Because if once again, if you've watched the show, he committed to signing up to go to the gym. I'm already going to the gym, so my commitment is to be more consistent, which I've been. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I want to commend you is because you did say you were going to sign up. Right. I should have said sign up and actually go. What? So now Come the new on. commitment is that you've already signed up at the gym. Your goal mm -hmm. was to start working out. And now you're go you actually have and, to I, work and out. You know what? And I'm going to sh throw a shameless plug in for LA Fitness. I really don't okay. do this kind of stuff. But... They actually said something that motivated me more. They said, we will give you a personal trainer for free. Oh, my gosh. You know, that's cool. You have no excuse. They don't do that at Lifetime. I, I, I can yeah, take yeah, that Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. You know, and I'll ask, double check it. Like, you, y'all trainers come. They're like, yeah, just, you know, put yeah. on the schedule so you have no excuse. Yeah. To not, you know, do now, better. I will tell you, mm -hmm. the good thing about having a trainer is because there's accountability. And he yeah. will or she will call you or text you yeah. to make sure that you're doing but what you're supposed to be doing. That's but you know, we talk about that in business and in life. Mm -hmm. Making a commitment, doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Don't just talk about it, but be about it, and then have somebody that you're accountable for. And it kind of reminds me of the gentleman that we're gonna be talking to um, with Ann Cheese, Chef Marvin. Mm -hmm. He committed to it, you know, and, yeah. and he wasn't just talking about building his business, he actually was about building his business. And I think a lot of times people yeah. have this dream to do something, mm -hmm. but then they don't take the steps to actually make, a, make it happen. It's always like, I'm gonna one day do something. I, I plan yeah. on doing stuff. And being in Atlanta, you hear it all the time. Like literally everybody in Atlanta, they getting ready to start something, they getting ready to go make something, uh -huh. but then it's kind of like taking the steps to actually do it. And now, not only that, once you do it, to stay committed to it and persist through the ups and downs. Persist through you know? it up and down through the, you know, you know, it's interesting that um, um, the chef here, Chef Marvin, talked about someone that I like to listen to also. Les, Les Brown. Brown. Right, yeah. and even Les Brown was saying, you know, the people that use but, yeah. You know, seldom do well in anything. That's true. You know, because it's, I mean, you always have an excuse, but tomorrow. Yeah. You know, or, yeah. but it rained today. Yeah. You know, um, having excuses, really, that just holds you back. Yeah, it really you know, does. Um, people that, you know, even at my church, I always tell people in this business anyway, don't come with me with just a problem. Come right. with me with solutions. Yeah. You know. But you know, most people aren't solution oriented. True. And, I, and I and I was talking to my daughter about this other day because she said she was talking to a friend of hers that had this problem. Mm -hmm. And she was giving her the solution, but all the girl wanted to talk about was, but you don't I understand. understand. You, you don't. Okay, but the situation would be resolved if you removed yourself out of the situation yeah, yeah, or if you did something to mitigate it. You know, But people like to hang on to their butts. They love to stay in conflict. You know, yeah. in a sense, it, it, yeah. it's, it's funny. They have comfortability in their chaos. Yeah. You know, because I have people all the time, and if you're in ministry, you know this. Yeah. The people that are always complaining. Yes. You give them a reason. You're like, yeah. you know what? Why don't you exercise? Well, yeah. it's, I don't have enough time to go over yeah. here. Or they can't do it in my neighborhood. It's not safe enough. Right. Well, you can do a little bit right. of something. You know, even with your education. Mm -hmm. Go back to school. Well, oh, I can't afford. Yeah. Have you tried? You yeah. know, have you tried to... to, to figure out other ways to get it done, Yeah, you know? Well, Tony Robbins talks about that. You know, he's another one that's a, good, a motivational speaker that right. I like listening to. And he's not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm telling you, this man has been around for years. And what he said is that a lot of times it's not always resources, it's resourcefulness. Ah, you know, I like that. Like when I first started our company, Don's Tree Service, I didn't have the resources mm -hmm. to get a truck, but I knew that I could build relationships. My husband, Morgan. 
who is now my husband, Morgan, uh -huh. and then I can make the necessary, you know, changes that I needed to make or the connections that I needed to make right. in order to get the resources that I needed to be able to get my company going. But the first thing I had to do was actually step out there and do it. And a right. lot of times stepping out there and doing it might just be making the phone call to get some making information, um, building relationships with the people that you're going to need to be in communication with in order to build your dreams. And, and really, it starts with you, you know, it, yeah. which, which it always does. It starts with you. That confidence yeah. plays a big role in it, yeah. you know, and fake it until you make it, you know, the yeah. confidence. But pick up those phones and just yeah. call people, yeah. you know, um, like I'm not going to say it on the radio because I'm like, <laughs> cause I was thinking I was about to, I was about to say one of those. Well, you know what? With my confidence, I'm going to walk out of this mall and I'm going to yeah. have four clients. I yeah. ain't going to say that right now because right, I might right. walk out and I don't get any. But, right. you know, but knowing that, having that confidence of saying, yeah. you know what, I'm going to step out here on faith. Yes. I'm going to, because I'm saying, I, I'm looking at this restaurant right here, yeah. you know, and cheese. If someone had to come to me 10 years ago and said, I got an idea about making a restaurant about grilled exactly. cheese Exactly, yeah. I'd be like, really? You know? Yeah. But having that tenacity to say, okay, I have a dream. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to make it work. Yeah. And once you start in the game, you got to keep playing the That's game right. until it, you win. That's right. You know? That's right. So I look at that in all kind of aspects of business and ministry and whatever you're doing. Yeah. You know, you're going to have some challenges. Yeah. But I think Frederick Douglass said, you know, without no um, struggle, there's no progress. Ooh, without struggle, there's, there's no, no progress. progress. I love so, that. So, you know, even building Don's Tree Service, you've had some struggles. Absolutely. But you've had a lot of progress. Yes. You know, with those, yeah. you know, because I know when you said you started out with just a uh, business card. Yeah, forty three dollars in a dream. Now you got trucks all over the place. Yeah. You know, and um, okay. yeah, but it's it's that tenacity to keep yeah. going. Um, put your phone number out there again. Oh, uh, but, seven I, but I, but I want to put a disclaimer. If you got a comment about the show, yes, don't call Dodge <laughs> Treaser because she <laughs> she answered like, "What you talking about, huh?" No, but I do want to. Speaking of the show, though, we had a lady that called in last week. Her name yep. is Queen. That's what I'm. So I want to give a Queen. shout out to Queen, and it starts yes. with I love our people. Yes. It started with a K. I don't know how to how I, you I, spell stop. Queen stop. With She's a one K. of our fans. Okay, but Queen oh, loved she the be show. One of our fans. She's with <laughs> Queen with a K. <laughs> but she's amazing, so I want to give yes. her a shout out. She loved the show, and she talked about how we were talking about issues um, dealing with gender and identity and stuff oh, that yeah. a lot of people aren't comfortable talking about. Yeah, and that yeah. she uh, was—I don't know if she was listening to it online or she heard it on the radio—but she said that it felt good to hear somebody actually having a conversation about these difficult subjects and being yeah. an open door. Yeah. Because nowadays, if you don't agree with somebody, okay, well, you know, we don't want to fight, so we're just going to shut it down. You're just going to shut you And you down don't make progress not. that way. Right. You know? You know, and if you're just kind of... Oh, that number. Oh, you, yeah, our number. Well, Donnie, give her the, the tree number. The tree number is 770-413-8733. That's if That's 770-413-8733. And to check out, the, to call or comment on the show, call 1-888-349-DONNIE. That's 1-888-D-O-N-I. Those numbers are 3664. 1-888-349-3664. And also hit, up, uh, hit us up on uh, social media. Yep, and we'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. When it falls, there's only one tree company to call. That's Don's Tree Service. Call them at 770-413-TREE. That's 770-413-8733. Had looked out the window after the storm and found out that there was a tree that was had fallen. So I needed somebody quickly. Made uh, one phone call. The appointment was made. They got the tree down. They do full service cleanup so that it looked like uh, nothing had been done at all. Don's Tree Service did an awesome job for me and I would recommend them highly. Hey guys, I'm Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. We are an Atlanta-based tree service serving all of Metro Atlanta. And you know what? We proudly serve the underserved. And not only that, when we cut down your trees, we don't charge extra for cleaning up. So give us a call at 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. 
Hey, hey, welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. I'm Donnie the Tree Lady hanging out with... That guy, Marty McFly. You know, th that is one of those things, you know, right before we went to commercials, you know, the new world or whatever, like yeah. I've done a whole lot of meetings on Zoom and, you know, now, before the pandemic started, it was just like Marty or yeah. Sheila. Yeah. Now it's got to be Sheila, she... Her and them. No, you, you can know, play that game if you want to. No, no, no. What I'm saying right. is, you got to explain how to be, how to respond yeah, to them. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's. But not it's probably just, not them or they. It could be. It's not. Right. I like want to be sensitive to that, goes. but guys, we, we got to have some grace. Okay. We got to. We're gonna. Yeah. We got to have grace on both sides. Just okay. We need. Bit, we need. Cause... You know. We don't know if you look one yeah. way and you're actually another. We don't know. So we want. Yeah. So we always want to lead with love. And we oh, yes. accept everybody, we love everybody. I do, yes. But we you do. said something on the last segment that I want to kind of piggyback on. Okay. We were talking about entrepreneurs and building a dream and everything. And you talked about how people sometimes need to fake it till they make it. Yeah. Well, when I was in network marketing, they talked about faking it till you make it a lot. And I think people got that concept wrong. It's, it's fake it. You need to fake the confidence and fake the attitude until you actually become that. Mm -hmm. But in the real world, a lot of people here fake it till they make it. And they mean, oh, go buy something you can't afford so you can look a certain way. And that, does, that is not what fake it till you make it means. It doesn't mean go buy a fake Rolex or get a car you can't afford so you can look a certain way. It means that if you're not confident, sometimes just, you know, try to act more confident. If you if you yeah. um, are a little scared sometimes, maybe you can act like you're not scared and take the next step mm -hmm. into your future, into whatever dream it is you have. So I think sometimes people get that concept of yeah. fake it till you make it you wrong. Know, I, so I just wanted to be clear on that um, before we you went know, further. I, I got a splash of controversy with that. You know, What's not, that? Not, not all, I agree with you to a certain degree. And then at the same time, I'm like, granted, don't buy some Lexus car, some Lexus, and you can't afford it. And you that. can't afford it, You know, it, right. just try to fit the image. However, you could go to a thrift store well, yeah, and fix that's yourself what, yeah, up you fix yourself to up. look like you about yeah. somebody until yeah. you can afford that. I agree. You know? I agree. Um, you know, because I see people with gold earrings. I was like, hey, you know, that ain't real gold. Right, right. But fix yourself up. Fix yourself up, You know, up, make yourself yeah. look, you know, if you're going to a job interview or if you're trying to conduct business, Fix yourself up. You know? Well, you said you mentioned the word thrift store, yes. and that's what a lot of people can do. If you if you're going a for an interview store. or you Don't got a business no or you got a business meeting, fake it till you, till you make it doesn't mean go buy an expensive suit you can't afford. No. You can go to a consignment shop or a yep. thrift store, get a very nice suit or a very yep. nice outfit. But what's cool is what goes in the outfit. What goes in so the outfit. So what goes in the outfit is your confidence, your attitude, your, mm -hmm. your believing in yourself. You're knowing, you have an idea of where you want to go and clarity about your future. So your attitude walks through the door before you actually right. do. Right. So that's, that's kind of where I want people to focus on is having the, the inner wherewithal to be who they want to be before they actually are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Be Don't, the person you want to be, be on the you, inside yeah. before it actually happens you know, on and, the outside. And it's, it's, it's proof in the pudding. You know, with working out, you know, yeah. it's it's um, a thing in my mind. And, and, and just call me crazy. Well, I know I am. But, you know, I had this vision of, you know, I want to wake up, be in the gym, handling business, my business calls and all that kind of stuff. The, visual, the visualizing that whole thing. Yeah. And, like, Tuesday, I'm up in the gym. And I'm making my calls, and I'm doing that, and I'm like, oh, this is where I want to be at. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, now, I might not have the resources of the money that comes with it, but when you visualize and you say, You do all right, Marty. Marty, you be talking be. so much stuff. You do, you do all right. Yeah, well, 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 well. <laughs> but the thing is, visualizing and then sometimes taking a pause and seeing where you're at, too. Yeah. You know, because yeah. me and you do that a lot of times. Yeah. Where we <clears throat> want to be so much farther out, and then we're like, wait, take a pause. Yeah. We're on track. We're yeah. doing what we're supposed to do. Yeah. But, <clears throat> excuse me, visualizing still where we want to go. Yeah. You know, and that's yeah. important, I think. And when, when, when we say fake it until you make it, sometimes you have to just live in that moment, live yeah. and be the person that you want to yeah. be. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you focus on who you want to be and believe that that's who you are, yeah. then believe it or not, things like that gravitate and to it's, you. And it starts to come to right. you. It, it really does. It starts coming to you. It really does. I, um... I had an incident yesterday where, you know, I've been visualizing making a certain amount of sales per day. And we, you know, we, we stay busy enough, but well. we want to be, we like do you well. Said, you, you do well, Donnie. Yeah, you, you, but you Marty, do you well. know somebody behind the scenes stuff I'm doing. So <laughs> absolutely, you're right. So 
I visualized making more phone calls, and guess what? I was able to, like, I had the energy and the time, miraculously, to be able to make those phone calls. Mm -hmm. We closed a big deal yesterday that actually one of my salespeople put on the schedule for Monday I didn't even know about. But I had been visualizing Uh what I want our schedule to look look like. like. You know what I mean? So Mm -hmm. a lot of times, if you start visualizing and becoming who you want to be on the inside so that it'll show up on the outside, things will start to just magnetize. Yes. And I don't think people understand. A lot of times we talk about reading books like Think and Grow Rich, The Power of Positive Thinking. It happens. Um, it works. The Secret. What people don't understand is it does work, but there's a methodology to it. You have mm-hmm. to believe it. You do have to visualize it. Right. Because if you can't see it, you mm-hmm. can't magnetize it to, right. to you. Yes. It's like athletes, they say they visualize, you know, dunking the ball. Mm-hmm. They visualize, even if they're striking out, they visualize Hit. actually hitting the ball. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of times in life and in business, we don't do that. I remember right. when I was a kid, I used to visualize being in a happy marriage, even mm-hmm. though I was a kid, because my parents were in an unhappy marriage. So I used to visualize mm-hmm. what, I, what it would feel like and get that feeling of what it would be like to be in love and yeah, to, to I never love visualize so that. Never, yeah. I never visualized that. Well, maybe that's a girl thing then. Yeah, well, but I used I to visualize being in love. I've always loved being marriage, in love. But uh, that part, I don't, I can't co-sign. No, oh my I God. love my wife. I, that's 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 how you cop, you know, live in confidence. You know, you fake it till you make it. I love my wife. I love everything she does. I love it when she wakes up. Marty. <laughs> I love it when she goes to sleep even more. <laughs> oh my goodness, did he just say that? Speaking. Did you just say that out loud? That I love my wife, yes. <laughs> yes, you love your wife, but you say she loves it when you go to sleep. Right. <laughs> right. I love her. So, yeah. yes, but fake it till you make it. Fake it till no, you make no, no, it, no, no. But, yeah. but You know, Daddy, uh, um, I, I would have some inspirational um, thought today, you know, but actually I've been inspired by And Cheese. Yeah, you know, And Cheese is a great company. Really allowing... Um, when God puts something on your heart, you move with yeah, it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, I think, I think uh, the chef told me earlier, he said something about, you know, you may know the truth, but you got to act upon the truth mm, or something like that. That's you know? right, yeah. And I think in life, in our life, we, the truth is always brought to us, but yeah. we don't act upon it. Yeah. You know, our opportunities that come to us that are true, yeah. great opportunities yeah. that we may not act upon. Well, the other so. thing is a lot of times we have opportunities come to us and we doubt ourselves, so then we don't take advantage of the opportunities. Mm -hmm. Going back to faking it till you make it, if you have an opportunity to do something, it may be outside of the scope of what you know how to do, but guess what? Accept it and then meet the challenge. Now don't go in there and don't try. You can't just accept the challenge and be like, well, I don't know, I accepted it. No, you gotta accept the challenge and then do the work to rise to the occasion. You know, it's funny, um, I've dealt with a few times in my business, you know, yeah. in the sense of they'll say, well, can you do a, a, a four camera shoot, you know, on this day at a concert? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm going to figure it out yeah, by absolutely. the time of that day, yeah. you know, and it's, that's one of those things, faking it till you make Making it. it. Yeah. You know, I think right during the pandemic, they asked, somebody asked me if I could um, do sound or videotape or stream a funeral outside. Yeah. And I'm like, sure. I sure, can. I can yeah. do it. Yeah, they're like, you know, we need a, you're going to need a generator and everything like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sh- sure, I'm, I wish sure. I got it, you know. <laughs> and it's like, in my mind, it's like, between now and then, I will get it. You I will, will get figure it, it out. That's because right. Because that's in a sense of faking it till you make it. That's right. saying, I'm going to figure it out yeah. until we get it done. Yeah. Um, but I will not go up there and just say, now, unless it's really outside of the spectrum yeah. of what I do. Yeah, yeah. But it's very rare that yeah, I Yeah, like, say, we don't do landscaping. I, I, I'm sorry, but y'all, we just... People ask us that all the time. We do tree service. Yeah, so for those grass. of you that are... Really, y'all don't Those of you grass. that are in Atlanta... I got some big weeds. Call me for tree work. 770-413-8733. Yeah. That's 770-413-8733. But another thing, you, you said about the inspiration. hmm The other thing that kept coming to mind is gratitude. Yes. Be, yes. We were talking about where we are and where we want to go and all that kind of stuff. And then there was a moment where we paused and said, you know what? We're thankful. We are so yeah. grateful for where we are. We look at where we started. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You th- oh. Like, you know what flashed if to my head? about us. Uh, said, over in yeah. Jonesboro? No, before Jonesboro. 
before Jonesboro, yeah. we was w at the little bitty w small, w small we don't wanna, place. We don't want to. We don't want to. Yeah, that, we, yeah, we don't want to disparage yeah, where we started. But yeah, that they were just taking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning. This, 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 this powerful when, radio station that broadcasts yeah, today. Come on, We can't. Yeah. We still know people there. Yeah. So anywho, and they left too. Got, oh my the god. People that we knew. Ain't that right, sir? I ain't even gonna say okay, congratulations. Okay, so I was for saying gratitude. I was saying gra gratitude. Gratitude. Right, right, right. Uh, think about your 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 meager beginnings in this yes. sense. I forget that little phrase I was about to say, but uh, no despise of the meager beginnings or something yeah. of that nature. But in, yeah. in, the, in the in a sense, that's of, in the Bible. You supposed right, to know that. That's what I just said. I said I can't remember that phrase right off the oh, top. Okay, we're it's sixty six it. books in the Bible. Okay. I don't remember every single line. That's kind in of it. an important one. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> just, we go. We go. We I go like messing with him. in that. But no, yeah. no. Um, don't forget about where you started from. Mm -hmm. You know, because I look at us where we started from, and it was. A situation where I was just getting out of the hospital, trying to refine myself, yeah. really moving back to Atlanta. Yeah. You were just saying, I just want to talk on the radio in yeah. a sense. And we were at a situation at a small place, but it grew. Right. You know, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, when we met, I wasn't even a pastor yet, but I'm yeah. thankful for where By we started By the way, y'all, I didn't know he was an ordained pastor when I met him. I didn't know he had just gotten out of the hospital. When I met him, I, I just said I needed some, I was like, I didn't know how to put this idea of just being able to do a show and talk uh -huh. on the radio or talk on a, a po I hadn't even thought of podcast, but I knew that's where we were going to go. I had no idea. And he's like talking on the phone with me, confident. And he's like, yeah, we can yeah. do that. You can make it that happen. I made it. Not knowing the man had just gotten out of the hospital. I just faking you know? it until I made it. I was yeah. still <laughs> limping around early in the morning. And, and, yeah. Yeah, but anyway. You know, so and I'm grateful to that. I am grateful too, and I and I'll say this as we kind of wrapping up. I'm thankful for God the way that He does things yeah. in our life. You know, yes. um, you know us meeting and where we're at now. I'm thankful for the stuff. I am so thankful for where we're yeah. at right now, and, we and to we're go gonna ahead and wrap on we're up. gonna go ahead and wrap things up because we're yeah. grateful. We're grateful for, for each other. And cheese. Yeah, we're and grateful each for each other and for you. We're grateful for you. Check us out online at at Donnie Jones Live. Also yeah. go to YouTube. Check us out, and we're going to go ahead and just wrap things up. Yep. Thank you for watching Donnie Jones Live. I'm Donnie the Tree Lady. I am that guy, Marty McFly. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace. Peace. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. When it falls, there's only one tree company to call. That's Don's Tree Service. Call them at 770-413-TREE. That's 770 770- 413-8733. Had looked out the window after the storm and found out that there was a tree that was had fallen. So I needed somebody quickly. Made uh, one phone call. The appointment was made. They got the tree down. They do full service cleanup so that it looked like uh, nothing had been done at all. Don's Tree Service did an awesome job for me and I would recommend them highly. Hey guys, I'm Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. We are an Atlanta-based tree service serving all of Metro Atlanta. And you know what? We proudly serve the underserved. And not only that, when we cut down your trees, we don't charge extra for cleaning up. So give us a call at 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-8733. I am that tree. guy, Marty McFly. Well, <clears throat> sometimes people actually call me Pastor Marty. Yes, I am Pastor Marty Ringer, pastor of St. Mark Lutheran Church over in beautiful East Point, Georgia. And you know what? We are worshiping in person. Yep, we're back in person, and I would love to worship with you. Join us this Sunday starting at 11 a.m., okay? 11 a.m. this Sunday, we're located at 4137 Washington Road. Now, if you're not in the Atlanta area or the East Point area, you can always watch any of our services at stmarklutheranchurch.org. That's stmarklutheranchurch.org. And yeah, you actually see me in my robe doing my uh, 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 ministerial thing. And I would love for you to check us out and worship with us. That's stmarklutheranchurch.org. Or visit us in person at 4137 Washington Road in East Point, Georgia. 
Hi, I'm Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service and author of my book, From Failure to Fabulous. From Failure to Fabulous is my story about taking my life from being an abject failure to building a fabulous life that I absolutely love. And I'm hoping that you'll take the time to check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous. Get your copy of this inspiring book by Donnie Jones, entitled From Failure to Fabulous, available now on Amazon and DonnieJonesLive.com.